We're being asked to find the average value of sine x over this interval here, 0 to pi, so solution. So before we start, uh, recall that the average value of a function over an interval, so the average value, is equal to 1 over b minus a times the definite integral from a to b of the function, which we'll call f of x with respect to x. So in this case, in our problem, uh, a is 0, uh, b is pi, and f of x is sine x. So all we have to do is use the formula. It's really easy. So the AVG value, average value, is 1 over pi minus 0. Then we have the definite integral from 0 to pi of sine x with respect to x. Okay, so continuing here, we end up with 1 over pi. The integral of sine x is negative cosine x. If you ever forget that, just recall that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So that the derivative of negative cosine is negative negative sine, which is sine. Okay, so we're integrating from 0 to pi. Let's be really careful here because it's very, very easy to mess up. So this is equal to 1 over pi. So first we plug in the pi, right? This one gets plugged in first. So we get negative cosine pi minus parentheses negative cosine zero. For me, at least, it's a really bad idea to, to skip steps here. So don't, don't skip steps. It's so easy to, to mess up when you, when you make these kinds of computations. All right, to finish, we have 1 over pi. Now the cosine of pi is negative 1, so we get negative, negative 1, minus, and the cosine of 0 is equal to 1, so we end up with plus 1. So we end up with 1 over pi and 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, so we end up with 2 over pi, and that's how you find the average value of the sine function from 0 to pi.